Hadi. Üç dört tane düştü. Yaralılardan bakıyoruz. Sağ ileri bir tane düştü. İleri bir tane düştü. Bat diye yakın. Adem, bat diye doğru ağacın hizasına git. Tamam mı? Bak üç tane ağaç var ya. Üç tane ağacı sağa sola dön oraya git. Bir tane indiğini gördüm. Bakına bakına git. Belki yanılmış olabilirim ama düştüğünü gördüm. Neyse sen oraya git dediğim gibi. Biz onları alırız. Bırak bırak. Sen o üç ağacı ortala. Ne oldu? Durdur şey. Git sen. Aha. Arkadakiler gidiyor. That is burning from the barrels. That's what we like. When you're eating in the Savoy, the best you can hope for is extravagant dishes done with foie gras. When you're in a pigeon hide, you get hobnobs. Mmm. It's definitely the best day of shooting I've ever had. Hopefully there'll be a decent number of pigeons at the end of the day, although uh, I wouldn't say I've shot particularly well, although saying that, um, all the misses are going to come out in the edit, so I should imagine it's a very short video. Oh, for fuck's sake, Gilchrist. What's important with all game is getting it cold quickly. There's no point leaving it out of a fridge, then putting it in a fridge the next morning. Because it's too late. Because what you've got to do is cool the birds down. The, the, the biggest justification for shooting, and that certainly for my generation, is the fact that we can potentially feed people, feed the nation, at a reduced price compared to other other sources of meat, um, and all the and all the ethics that go with it. So, you know, as a Every shooter has a responsibility, in, in my mind, to, to make sure that the game goes straight into the fridge. It is of good quality, because the next generation of people that eat game don't want it high at all. They don't want the flavour that people associate with game. And I think wrongly, wrongly associate with game is that sort of strong, overhung taste. And all the books that say, you know, leave it... All the books that say, leave it out there for weeks, were probably written, you know, 30 years ago when generally temperatures were a lot cooler. You can only imagine that's when they were written. Not, I just don't know anyone that likes eating game, you know, when, when it's bitter. I mean, it's just repulsive. Uh, I'd hate to think that game cooking 
has got the problem that some sort of curry lovers have got, which is that you've got this sort of pathetic food machoism of, of who can eat the most, you know, the hottest curry you can get. And that's not enjoying curry, and it's the same with game, really. Barrels are getting hot. Shooting people can start feeding the general public and getting them to eat game. It will guarantee the safety of this sport for the next 40 years. The argument of it's our civil liberties to go shooting, although in principle it's probably right, the sad, sad reality is the general public it doesn't really warm to shooting. So saying it's our civil liberty, in fact, makes people feel a bit more smug that they've got some opportunity to, to tread it down. But what we can say is, look, we can feed you. We can feed you very well. At a lower price. I think when I expire and get reincarnated, I'd much rather come back as a wood pigeon than a, than a poxy two for one chicken. Great way to show your dog you love them. Take them shooting, isn't it, little mag? Yeah. Yeah, just want to say now, I've beaten Gordon Ramsay and the other useless bloke, what did he get, five? That's 28 there. short on last year's but I did shoot pretty badly. That's 200 birds. Ooh, for 500 shots. That's dismal. That's 40 percent. We'll have to do it again. Like, we'll have to film the whole bit again and I'll have to change the number of cartridges because I, I don't like any video that makes me look as incompetent as I am. Can we, can we honestly, can we, <laughs> can we change the cartridge count? Oh well, you know. My problem is I cook too much. I don't do enough shooting. I think I'm going to have to put my prices up, do less work and more shooting. That's fair enough, isn't it? Oh, well, you can't complain. It was a superb day. Plenty of birds. And we've just got to get these birds back in the chiller. Nice and quick. Get them cold so that we can pluck them tomorrow morning. Come on, Maggie. I don't know why you're panting. You've hardly done anything today. Have you? Well, I can eat hobnobs. Yeah. Oh, oh. 